Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be my updated Crystal Beasts uh, which I haven't really been playing that often or more. I've not been playing them that as much as I did because well dragons I love like not like E dragons like blue eyes white dragon that deck um E heroes I've been playing a bit uh, but I've, I'm sort of wanting to really build harpies because harpies are awesome and I love them. I'm still trying to get all the crystal beasts in like super or secret, whatever version you can get them in. But that's not happening anytime soon because I'm sort of running low money. Oh well. So I'm just going to get into this deck profile. Can't be bothered talking anymore. Hey. Oh, hope you enjoy. So start. Triple Ruby. I'm never taking out one of the rubies. It's always been three. Along with three Sapphire Pegasus, it's always been three. Always will be three. I don't like this because that's super and they draw a secret and I want to get another secret rare because it doesn't look right. Uh, next, I'll, I'll quickly explain. Ruby, when she's special summoned, all Crystal Beast in your spell and trap card zone uh, get special summoned. Uh, Crystal Beast effects are that they go to the spell and trap card zone if they be destroyed, face up. So basically, like Torrential Tribute and Dark Hole don't hurt this deck at all. Honestly, they don't. A uh, Sapphire Pegasus, when it's um, normal summon, you search out a Crystal Beast from your deck. Usually, I summon at this, get Ruby instantly, so I've got a play anyway. And uh, next up is like the Beatles of the deck is two Topaz Tiger. When this card attacks, it gains 400 attack, so it's went from 16 to 2000 instantly. Uh, two Recyclers, my two Cobalt Eagle. Uh, once per turn, you can return one Crystal Beast from your like field to your top of your deck. So normal summon at this. Battle, do whatever, and then return Sapphire to the top deck, and then get another search out next turn, which is what I like to do. Next, you've got like sort of like defenders of the deck. A uh, two Emerald Tortoise, two thousand defense. Its effect is a uh, once per turn, if you can target a Crystal Beast that attacked this turn, and then change it to defense position. So it's a really good effect. I like it. Then to like sort of help protect, you've got two Amber Mammoth. You can redirect attack to him. Any, as long as it's a face-up crystal beast is attacked, you just redirect the attack to him and he'll take the hit for you. Then, two Amethyst Cat, she can attack directly, but, our battle, but the battle damage you deal is halved. So that's all the crystal beasts, that's all of them, there's like 14, or something like that. Uh, you can't have a crystal beast deck without running at least one Rainbow Dragon. Running two is way too much, running three is just, oh my god. Yeah, but at least with this, uh, I was going to run Malefic Rainbow Dragon, but I decided to run Malefic Cyber End instead, like last time, because it doesn't take up a part in your deck, it takes up your extra deck, and with Crystal Beast, you don't really need that many extra deck pieces. Like, there isn't really many extra deck that works with this, but I have like a flung together extra deck. Uh, also, I have Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder, Ultimate. Uh, what this does is what you're doing is when Crystal Beasts are in the Spell and Trap card zone, they're treated as continuous spell cards. So send three of them for your Spell and Trap card zone to the graveyard, special summon out this, and then attack, and they're taking a thousand regardless. Then the last monster is Neospatian Grandmo, which allows you to bounce cards back to your opponent's hand. Next up here is the spell cards, so I have the sort of staples. A double, mystical, I don't feel the need to run three, so I'm not running three. Yeah, then I've got one book of moon. Yeah, I've had to take cards from like my dragon deck just to put in here to show you what I would run in here, but I've not got enough cards to do that, so I've had to use some of the dragon cards. Dark Hole, like I said before, it doesn't actually harm this deck at all, really, because they all just got the spell and trap cards on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, then I've got like sort of crystal beast oriented cards. Uh, I've got rare value. As long as you have two crystal beasts in your spell and trap card zone, uh, you can activate this card and your opponent picks one of them, send it to the graveyard, you draw two cards. Really good. Uh, crystal Abundance. This card is a game winner. If you put four in your spell and trap card zone, activate this. 
every card in the field is sent to the graveyard, then you can special summon Crystal Weiss up to the number of cards sent to the graveyard by your opponent. So basically, if they've got like five cards, yeah, just get three Sapphire, a Topaz and like a Cobalt or something, and then you can just like search out the three Sapphires and everything. It's amazing. I love that card. Uh, for special summoning, you've got two Crystal Promise, and that's the card suggests on here by the artwork. Ruby Carbuncle. I like it. Uh, then another special summoning, Crystal Beacon. Two, if you get two or more and your spell and trap cards on, activate. Special summon a Crystal Beast from your deck. Also a card that pairs well with this is Crystal Blessing. What this does is brings two Crystal Beasts from your graveyard back to spell and trap card zone. So you activate that basically, you can activate that right after it, so it's really good. Then the power up cards, I run two Crystal Release. Which gives, a, you can only equip it to a Crystal Beast monster, and it gives them 800 extra attack. And when this is sent to the graveyard, you can take a Crystal Beast from your deck and put it in your Spell and Trap card zone. Face up. Uh, next up is the two uh, field spells. I run Advanced Arc. Such a good card. I genuinely love it. Uh, if a Crystal Beast monster... Well, I'll read off the effect. It says, all Crystal Beast monsters on the field and in your graveyard become dark. If Rainbow Dragon or Rainbow Dark Dragon attacks, negate the effects of the attack target during the battle phase. During damage calculation, if a Crystal Beast monster you control battles and, would be, and you would take damage, you can send one Crystal Beast monster from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, you take no battle damage from that battle. So yeah. I purposely sometimes crash my monsters. See like if I've got like a uh, Crystal Promise or Crystal Beacon in my hand or something. And I have like a ruby out in the field in defence or something like that. I purposely put it to attack and then just crash it to send anything to the graveyard. And then it would go to my spell and trap card zone, then activate Crystal Blessing, bring them back, then send three of them to Faramon or whatever. It's so good. And uh, then I've got uh, one Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Uh, this is built for Crystal Beast. As long as you have one, your spell and trap card zone, it can't be destroyed. Two, you can half battle damage once per turn. Three, you can send a face up Crystal Beast. A monster you control to the graveyard to negate the activation of a spell trap card and destroy it. Four, you can draw one, uh, once per turn you can draw an extra card during your main phase. Uh, and five, you can special summon one crystal beast from your spell trap card zone. Yeah, it's sad that I've like memorised that. Oh well. So basically this works really well. If you if you put five, you use the effect for four, draw. Then uh, you do a five, special summon it like a ruby. Special summon and everything else, and you're sorted. So I've only that's that's basically the whole deck. I've only got five traps. It's two crystal regaki or regaki, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a regaki break, except from instead of send, discarding a card, you send a crystal beast from your spell and trap cards onto the graveyard to destroy a card. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, call the haunted just because monster reborn is gone now. Need some way of bringing back monsters, so call the haunted just one because I don't really like having back row there. I'd rather like not have back row to be honest because I'm a bit weird with that. And then two mirror force just for whoa, Oops. mirror force is just mirror force, you need to have it. It's a good destroyer, destroyer of worlds. So that's the main deck done. Just press over to the side now. The extra deck is pretty shit, if I do say so myself. Uh, I've not got like any of the, the key cards that you would maybe use in an extra deck, like Photon Paper Operative, Diamond Dire Wolf, stuff like that. I haven't actually got any of them. Just because I'm not lucky enough to go out and buy them or get them in a pack. So I've had to make do with my own cards. Uh, I've got two, number 10 Illuminate. Oh, so you're going to shot two, number 10 Illuminate. I don't even know why. I, I, I hate this card so much, it's so useless. So you have to detach, draw, and discard. It's your minus off of it, like something awful. I never ever use this. I'm mainly just going to Utopia, because Utopia is Utopia. Or if I'm really cocky, just going to Gem Knight. Gem Knight Pearl. Yeah, that's, like the la that's all my rank 4s. Yeah, I've got a few rank 3s. I've got double Zen mains. Which I didn't have before. I got another Zen mains off of someone, and I like I like Zen mains. It's so good. Just basically blocks your opponent. I love it. I've got one Acid Golem, which works really well with Future Swap, which I'm going to 
probably side in now. I like creatures a lot. Because basically your opponent can't special summon or do anything. And they just keep on taking 2000 damage. <laughs> it's so good. And then I've got one terabyte. For those games you can make it and you can just take control of your opponent's monster and then exceed with it. So it'll be. <laughs> then I've got two, number 17 Leviathan Dragon. Really good for a, like a rank 3. Then I've got for the, those odd games where you get one, you get super super dimensional robot galaxy destroyer. For that game, where you manage to get out Rainbow Dragon, Malefic Cyber End, and Tamon all out in the field at one time, because basically it's three level tens to make this. And what you can do is once per turn you can detach any seized material and destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls, and your opponent cannot activate cards in response to this. So. It's, it's 5,000 attack. So basically it was, it was built for not being able to get out really easily. But some people have managed to pull it off like uh, using like their stall deck by using Metal Reflect Slime, using three of them in overlaying. Which is actually quite a good idea. But anyway, last card is Cyber Dragon just for that Malefic Cyber End. So guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed. try that again. Hope you enjoyed this deck profile update thing. Hey, stay tuned for more videos. I have got. I'm planning on uploading some Pokemon em in Pokemon Sapphire because I like Pokemon. Pokemon is awesome, and I hope you like that. I've got like five episodes filmed anyway. That's only up to the third gym leader. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe if you did. And I will catch you in the next one.